Welcome to the Aspera Lounge. Thank you for joining us again on this episode. If you are new here, we are very happy that you have finally found us. Make sure you take a walk in our video library so that you can see the things that we discussed and give us your comments so that we can continue these conversations. And if you're one of our regular viewers, we really appreciate you. We're changing lives here, one life at a time. Even as we talk, a lot of us are learning. We're learning from each other. And that's why we, we come together as a group. We appreciate your being here with us. Make sure that you continue to leave us your, your calls, your messages, and your comments. I'm just going to play the intro as we're going to discuss today's topic. We are talking about estrangement in families. And the question is, do children always need, because one of us said at the last time that we talked, she said that children always need their father's blessings. And while that is true, let's just talk about it because we want to put some perspective and context to it. Because sometimes we hear things and we run away with them um, without applying them to our specific situations and scenarios. That's why you hear a lot of things that people tout and take decisions based on them and sometimes getting the wrong results from the decisions. Let me just play this intro and then we'll get it. First thing you want to do is to regain your power. And it takes two to handle. Oh my God, you need to see what she's going through. The husband broke her neck. Who wants to go first? Unye, would you go? You haven't actually discussed this with us, but you you heard me, so you know what we're talking about. So sometimes there's estrangement in the family, and sometimes it's even a, a man who has moved himself from the family and he's he's working in his ego and he's saying, even though I've done these wrong things, you know, because of where we come from, we give so much honor to the to the uh, father side of the family, which is right. And this is our culture. But then if he's working in his ego and he's saying, despite any, everything I've done and whatever I've done, when it's time, my daughter is getting married. Let me see where she's going to go because I'm the one who has to give her hand to in marriage. And let me see what will happen um, with the son. He's not, if his inheritance is with me and all that. Well, never mind my tone. I'm not saying that we shouldn't listen to the man. Let's just get into it and see. Let's let's talk about it and see what it looks like for the people who are going through this. If you know anybody, any family who's gone through this or who is going through it, think about it and what would you say to them? No, oh, I, I would I would always like to ask with a question, you know, the, the way that I do, who is a father really? Who is a father? Is it just a biological person who gave birth to you or like who is a father? If you know, maybe people can define that, then, then we can that. bring I some. Love that. I love that. Yeah, who is the father? Yeah. So, Coco, do you think that the father is he's the biological? He's the person who do, whose whose cells were part of the makeup of of these kids. Is that just enough for us to say this is the father? Well, whether we like it or not, albeit a spam donor, he's still the father that we can't take away. However, I do understand what um, Onye is saying when we then go on further to, it's just like a child that is adopted saying to the child, listen, adoption is just a name. I took you from the hospital from, you know, the first day you were born. So I'm your mom. It doesn't matter. 40 years later, your mom comes on or your real mom comes or your, you know, 20 years later. And, and that's why you see such adopted children. They never forget the, the family that cared for them. So at the best, they'll just say, I have two moms, regardless of what the mom's story was or is for abandoning her. It could be something that was out of her control or not. So in terms of that definition of father remains as the spam donor or the person that took on the responsibility but i assume for all intents and purposes of this conversation we are talking about whoever man that has assumed the role of father even if he wasn't the biological okay let's break it into two let's talk about the man that i think Oinye may have had in mind when she asked that question let's talk about the man who has not acted as a father let's not talk about the adopt adoptive or the sperm, let's not talk about the ones, the sperm donor, let's talk about the man who knows that this is my child, who maybe even grew up in the same, who maybe even had those children growing up in the same household with him. And while he was there or after he left or sometime or whatever, did not act as a father, did not play. And in fact, maybe sometimes call them and even laid crosses on them 
because I do know there is somebody who will say, you, you will not do well. Not because the children have done anything, but you know, we do have some parents that really should not be parents. People who take their children and put them through so much terror and trauma because they are bullies. And I know that these people, are, they are sick people. The truth is that we have sick people amongst us. Some people who went through trauma in their lives, who face some things and have now given birth to children and they are not capable of being parents and they, they mm -hmm. treat their children this way. So mm -hmm. those kinds of people, that's one thing. Then yes, so if I want to clarify, sorry, I would, so I'm clarifying the question. Are you saying that um, even if someone finds themselves in this circumstance, where they have, um, let's say, an abusive father. Look, we're talking about fathers now because it could also be an abusive mother, but we're talking about mm -hmm. fathers now. And they stick it out because I've seen this happen. In this case, it was the person's elder brother. Their father was late. And they stick it out because they think, oh, nobody is going to bless me or give me out a marriage or something. And um, is that what our question is? Should, should they um, stick it out because? Uh, just help me clarify the question a bit. Okay, so the question is, so let's say a girl is getting married now, and mm -hmm. this is, and she is going to, so the, and and then the man is uh, refusing to say to make up the relationship, and he's holding that as he's wielding that over her head, because people generally feel like. For it to be complete, for my husband's family to, for the husband's family to respect her, she needs to have the blessing of her father, right? Mm -hmm. So should she have sleepless nights? Should she um, continue to ask for a man in this relationship, or should she just mend that relationship, get that blessing, or get him to? come on board for the wedding thing or how do you what do you think okay i would say i would say now there are of course i never give black and white answers right because there are so many different mm. nuances there are so many different situations there's so many different circumstances but if you had a very let's say father who is or was abusive or toxic non-present a father who was never a father in the sense of the word like they were bio, a biological father but they weren't a father in the sense that they were your champion, they were protecting you. We know what a father should be, right? Mm -hmm. um, I do not believe that if that same father who has been cursing you does not bless you. You, you, you know we have all these religious, I don't know where we get these are religious oh, things in Nigeria from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do not believe because this person has never said anything good to you. So I do not believe that whatever they will say the day of your wedding or, or something will have an impact, honestly. Honestly, I don't believe. And while, of course, even the Bible advocates for, you know, being at peace with all men, especially if this is family, while I, while I say let, let's seek peace always and all that, but if this is a very toxic situation or a very abusive situation that you can't, uh, or the person is now holding it over you, let me see who will bless you. Let me see who will give you away. Useless child. Honestly, I think you should move on. I don't think that blessing is of any worth. And that is my opinion. Hmm. Coco, do you want to? Well, I, I, I think um, when he has, uh, quite frankly, you know, taking the words out of my mouth, I'm sure Ajiri would have probably had a different view, but I can't say so without. Uh, I, I, basically, she said everything, really, to be honest. Should he be bothered? I mean, like she said, I don't know where the church people get these things from and tradition, which I, quite frankly, everyone knows my views by now. I challenge things. I live to challenge not just anything. I live to challenge anything that is wrong because I don't like it when you know this is wrong, right? But you feel that the culture empowers you to humiliate, to suppress, to bully people. Forgetting that that culture was written or came into existence when there weren't even human rights. For most men, just kings, then it was trinkled down to men. There's not absolutely nothing for women. And um, 
women have I, I, I don't describe myself as a feminist quite honestly i describe myself as someone that human is after rights. everyone <laughs> human right. rights yes yeah. and that could be me defending a male a female a green person a white person i really don't care i my 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 human rights my zeal to protect no no boundaries yeah, yeah it cuts across exactly. so regarding you know back to this topic of if the male feels i have the right to walk out of my family because i'm the head of the home so i can do as i please i've heard that several times being said mm -hmm. if the male feels hey guess what i have the right to cost any child of mine do you know what those causes will come to nothing okay Absolutely. so the reason why and that's the reason why we're discussing this because this woman is having sleepless nights and i and i said to her listen over you what cannot, over this going to get the blessings of of a man that no, doesn't and, want and her over him, over him laying these curses on making those pronouncements over oh, no, 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 no. go ahead and make the curses and pronouncements no, 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 no. You, it, you it to no avail it's just like you me are. calling you it's just yeah, like me that's why, we, right. that's why we have the conversation right because people of different um, mindsets are listening to this right and i and well like if i have this conversation with someone i want them to hear from other people right so there are people who think like that so because i said to her you have no business worrying about this because this is someone who has constantly shown over the years that if something is going on with him to start with because that's not normal to to treat your family this way so there is no reason for you, absolutely no reason, because she's like, if I do this, um, or if I don't do this, he said this. And I'm like, even even you have a problem if this will be causing you to have sleepless nights and be worrying. And I think that there will be some people, you and I may not have that mindset, but there will be other people who you'll be surprised, you would think that they should know better. But after despite everything, despite all their exposure and everything. Because when you are growing up, the things that are that you imbibe from the time you're a child, even if they are absolute bunkum, you may believe in them. You may be the type who will never shed those things. And so some people have grown up with those beliefs that at any cost, so that even if somebody is abusing them and, and making a spectacle of them and dragging them through SHIT they just feel like i have no choice because if i don't stay here and take this thing and just be good about it and manage it and patch it up and do everything then i would be going against i'll be doing the wrong thing so that's why oh, I, I have a question so this person this is a father and a daughter or who is this yeah. a father and a daughter so this is, and, this, and is, this, is okay. a, this is a this is a woman who brought this issue Right? Okay. And now, her, and now the concern, her concern is this man says these things about these children and to these children, and Ooh. she's worried about them. And of course, we're now looking ahead to when, because he's even said, well, when it's time to, to for the marriage, let me see who is going to do this and who is going to do that. So this should be. So I think it's, it's just for people to see this and know this should put your mind at rest, because I've known people who have said he's your father. You know, people who have been in this situation and, and somebody would have said, he's your father. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, he's still your father. Go to him. Go to him and go and um, ask for his uh, forgiveness. Oh, or ask for okay. His oh, oh, also, let, let, me, let me quickly cut in here with an example that may not be, actually, it's not the same with what we're talking about. But just to show you how extreme I can be, and believe you me, nothing will happen. When I lost my mother, uh villagers because i'd lost my dad so many years earlier my villagers wanted to like they'll say show us shaggy right and they just mm -hmm. felt oh you know it's all about this they look at you in a certain way they perceive you in a certain way and they think quite frankly it's because you're better than them honestly but it, you need to or i, I think uh, say to this lady and i hope she's listening she needs to be it all boils down to self-confidence because believe you me the other party is doing this because they think you have a low it's their own low esteem that's that they're yeah. projecting onto you exactly. 
they're exactly. projecting their own self-esteem onto you. So, sorry, low esteem. So if you don't understand the mindset of that mini narcissist, or maybe he's not a narcissist or whatever is making him, it's just to bring her down. When I lost my mom, like I said, it may not be related, but it's just the essence that I want us to take. I do remember a village was trying to frustrate us to the extent that, because mom died here, but her wishes were to be laid to rest at home. And I do remember them saying that they needed the coffin to be opened. Now, we, the children here, had agreed, you know, I'd said, I don't want mom to be opened because she was unwell and she did, you know, not quite look herself. And I felt, I know my mother, she was, she was a stallion, right? She will be humiliated if she should open an eye and see that we let her be displayed for the villagers, you know, for people to look at her and say, hey, see how she, you, you know, no. I felt I needed to give her the dignity. And when we got home, they were insisting. Now they started making, you know, those silly comments of, oh, how do we know that is not um, a bunch of rappers that were just put in the coffin and we're being told it's our wife. They're sure it's not her. They need proof. Now, if you're stupid, if you have that low self-esteem, you will fall for that reverse psychology to prove to them that it's actually a human being that is there. Because they kept saying, in fact, at one point, one of my siblings now went, oh, Starkoya, yeah, I, I think we should do it. And of course, I shouted him down. I was like, no, we're not going to. <laughs> okay. Cut uh, the long story short. Cut the long story short. Those people literally barricaded the door the exit door so that we don't take mom to church right until oh, they see it yes oh, but also, you don't know me i said to my siblings i said to my I uncle oh <laughs> yeah i said to my uncle you better go and tell the mob that you set up against us that we because we had our police officers and stuff i said uh once the reverend father calls and says it is time if they don't leave that place i will forcefully Ooh, i will tell the policemen because that's why they're here it's all part of the duty right yeah. i will tell the policemen to get them and everyone was like hey hey culture you know that kind of thing and i said to him uncle one more thing because i know you're the one that sent them do you realize that i do not need any of you present to bury my mom mm -hmm. The uh, Pam's people are here. They dug the grave. I mean, let me ask you I, I, something. Let me ask you. you something. Know, yeah. If they were saying because this wait, is what let, 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 let me let me finish. Also, sorry, just thirty seconds. Then you can ask me that question, Scott, because I don't want you to miss the essence of this. The essence of this is to show you how determined I was. I said to them. As far as the Reverend Father has accepted to receive mom at the church, comes back, does the interment bit, that's all that matters. I don't need one single person attending this burial. And I meant it. And to be honest, mm -hmm. it is the truth. Uh -huh. Because I said to my uncle, everyone that is here, they've come to eat. Exactly. I wanted to say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've they come to eat. They're not yeah. coming to come and you're the one grieving. Yeah. I, I, I said to them, I'm the only one grieving my mom. So I choose mm -hmm. to bury my mom. They don't need to be present. Which I is don't something need to that be... I've been wondering. Like, why do we even have all those expenses for funerals? So, yeah. Funeral that, that's it's another like topic. Him. So, yeah. you know, relating it back to this topic, you know, of course, by the time I said that, my uncle wanted to do his giddy, 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 giddy with those people. And as soon as the Reverend Father called, that's it. I opened the door. I told the mob mobile police people, can you please get these people out of the way? And within seconds, they all like, do you know what is, these are people that barricaded. They all just moved and we just put mommy in the, mm -hmm. yes, went to church, brought mom back and put her to rest. But also what I'm saying is I was that determined for not one single person to come. Okay. So that's how far I go. So with relating <laughs> to this thing, mm -hmm. Relating it to this case, you see, we need to stand up to bad culture. We need, we, we don't need to follow it because it's the culture to open coffins. Well, I defied that culture and quite proudly I did, right? Because I said to them, this is my mother. She's not your wife. She's my mother. And at that point, I, I felt, and I know, and I still feel that way. 
she is my mother she was my mother okay. nobody tells right. me how to bury her what so you, if this woman if all of us in this our generation can stand up to all those evil cultures of this woman is our wife we paid for her, her head or whatever therefore we detect how it's going to go you're the child it's all up to you honestly right. yeah so what do you what do you say Oye? what were you saying you were no 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 i was trying to yeah it's still tying into what coco is saying now why does this woman feel helpless or confused is she being tied down by um cultural beliefs or religious sure. beliefs Be because i know that there are two Both. things that that okay. totally um, make us permit me to use the word useless in nigeria it's either mm. culture or religion mm -hmm. so is she being tied down by cultural beliefs or religion and uh, why are you watching your husband even though he's these people's father who should be in their corner i believe that the world is harsh enough your family should be your safe Absolutely. place right well, and this is not happening why are you allowing this happen right is she being tied down by culture or religion i think it will allow us to streamline what we're talking about oh, here obviously both or either oh okay yeah so well what i think is everything that coco has said that's that's me or should i say that's who i used to be who i used to be in the sense that i would say that everybody should everybody should stand up against around rubbish and tell them to go take a seat in the corner and do what I know that needs to be done. Because if we don't do that, people will not, we will never emancipate ourselves from nonsense. If everybody is being nice about it. But here is the thing, those of us who are able to do it, that's what we should do. We shouldn't back down simply because we want to have peace. Because if we do that, then we will never get to the point where people will be let out of the shackles however for those who are not able to do it we can't force them or make them do what they're unable to do because if we tell them you must do this you send them to war but they don't they're not equipped for it because they don't have the mental capacity for it they don't have the mm -hmm. um, ability mm -hmm. they don't have the where we go however so i so what those people should do is in order for them to have comfort and peace I would suggest, first of all, I would say to such a person, don't you worry. You can't force this man to be the father that he's supposed to be. Accept that this is what it is. That's who the man is. And yeah, you can feel that pain and everything. And when it's time for the wedding, allow your daughter, I would say, allow her to tell, to, to, to apologize. You know, it doesn't take anything. Do you want the apology? It doesn't take anything. I may not apologize. Coco may not apologize. If I actually, I will not apologize for nonsense, something I haven't done, right? You can't have to apologize mm -hmm. for it. But mm -hmm. oh, so you're breaking. But I will, oh, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I will do my wedding and I will go to sleep without batting an eyelid. I will sleep peacefully. But some other people will not have peace. If they have, when they're pregnant and, and the belly is itching, they'll be like, ah, maybe it's the cause. If the, <laughs> if the baby coughs, ah, maybe it's the cause. You know, so, so for them to have peace, let's encourage them. Don't have uh, sleepless nights. Apologize to that man. Get whatever it is that you need to get and move on. And that's the end of story. And if it's in the case of a funeral thing, yeah, those of us who are going to stand against them and tell them to. Get it behind me and we'll go on and do what we need to do. But yeah, they asked for for to proof that that's your mom. Then okay, so for the for you people who cannot do that fight, open it and show it to one person. One person is enough to tell everybody else that that's the woman. No, I'm not opening to anyone. <laughs> no. That's no. I'm not no opening to the only that's person you. that is you and only, I. No, Uche, um sorry, Uzo, the only person that i i brought in to see mom was her younger sister and her two very close friends mm. when they were in nigeria these were her besties right. i felt so, i owed uh, they didn't request to see her but i felt i owed them that on, they were the only people quite frankly that mom wouldn't have minded them seeing her in 
in her lowest moments, assuming when she was alive. Because there are some people, depending on the kind of sickness that you have, that they don't like people coming to the hospital to see them because they know that they don't look hey. <laughs> like they used to. You know, can they, you they guys? Like, I don't know if you can. I can. can okay. Yeah, yeah it's, can. Broken. Oh, it's breaking. Sorry. Oh, oh, you're oh, you breaking. Leave you. Leave. Leave those of us who are. We are able to do our own fights. We're. We're fine. Well, essentially, I know she's broken, but I'll just carry on saying. It's not for us. Essentially, also, the thing is, okay, fine, leave you and I, we're strong enough, probably on you. So this is an educational thing, okay, for people. And I think that's a whole essence. I'm minus one, you're minus, and she is. But there's so many people. So my word to them is, listen, it's not rocket, rocket science. Nothing would happen you know don't don't worry about what any other person is saying i've been a victim of smear campaigns you know of course it did hot at the time or because i would never experienced it before yeah. it did hot I, I i couldn't equip myself as in i was miserable and but yeah. i got to a point where i'm like you know what bring it on in fact fr quite frankly right now if anyone embarks on any smear campaign i'll just laugh it off i wouldn't even engage and that's the because thing you that's know so thing. that is the lesson you know you educating and empowering yours okay fine you can't empower yourself it's through hearing other people's experiences that we learn and right through going through it because if she's gone through it this one time right and she's been pushed to the wall and it comes up again tomorrow it only needs to happen a number of times for you to get to the end of your your rope and say <laughs> maybe, well, not. Yeah. Also, <laughs> maybe not yes maybe not if the, no maybe not i tell you what if it's her nature to take things that come to her it will happen a thousand times over and she wouldn't pick herself up the only exactly. way she'll so pick can't, herself so you up can't even tell her, you can't even tell her or oh, don't you worry nothing will happen because after no. everything that's no, all your assur reassurances this person no. is still not going to sleep well at night no she, she will because if you keep educating and re-educating she'll pick oh, up but if yeah. you don't educate her if you're leaving it based on her own strength, okay, it's happened to her once, maybe the second time. No, we wouldn't. Just like in my own case, a smear campaign, right? I'll be honest. I've never dealt with a thing like that before. Of course, I couldn't pick myself up and it happened over and over again. Now, why am I this strong person now where I like to be? But in fact, if I even hear you saying it, I'll just say, is that all? Don't you have more? Is true speaking to people that have had similar experiences mm -hmm. and people that haven't. And you see how confident and strong they are. And they go like, oh, oh, oh. I beg, do you have any other thing? To, do you think you can stop people from talking? You don't even mm -hmm. need to explain yourself. Because I used to think my way of handling it then was to explain myself. I'll call anyone that I think the person has called, would have called to tell them my own. Then I realized that, do you know what? It actually makes things worse. Because mm -hmm. the person who actually twist, rephrase and dish it out in a way that you're not thinking hang on that wasn't the way i said it of course she knows that's not the way so i have learned not to in fact i, I read something incidentally not too long ago you know smeka and and, and uh, the the advice said just don't do anything the truth will come out just have a thick skin so you see, through reading, I became empowered through mm -hmm. speaking to people. So, and that's why it's good that we're having conversations like this, because you know what? She's human. She'll be reading my body language, Oni's body language, yours, and be seeing that it's not like we're saying, I know it's a difficult thing, Chai. <laughs> but you and know now, you have to. She can see the way we're sounding also so dismissive, like, oh, please, next topic. And she's, <laughs> she's going to be like, oh, if they're sounding this dismissive, that means it's no big deal because for the person prior to this listening to us, because I used to be there before, I would, of course, I had some people that would just say, Chai, it's, it's not good. And eh, what this person is doing is not good. Those went to the impactful ones. The impactful ones to and me that Thank you very change. much. That's what I say. I said, let's not be patting people on the back and say, ah, what they're doing to you is not good. I don't. No, I don't those are not the impactful it ones. Help. It doesn't the help. It doesn't help. The those are the impactful ones are the ones that the person goes i spoke to like one of my sisters that was years ago and she went um oh please can we talk about that one 
Oh, you actually bothered about what people people say. Oh, please. I can't people. And I was looking at her because I'm a lot older than her. And I'm thinking, oh my God, if this little girl, I'm supposed to be giving her wisdom, but if she has that much wisdom, in fact, I felt embarrassed that I was taking these things serious. And the way she just sounded like I had a conversation today. And and the person was telling me, No, you should just why don't you do that? And I'm like, No, 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 no. That petting is not necessary. That petting is what mm -hmm. has kept people where they are today in bonding. Yeah. Because, yeah. because they're able to get some respite from your petting them instead of telling yeah. them this is bull crap that you're seeing right here. Wow. You know, you're petting them and telling them that that person is oh, that person is not nice, that person is not treating you well or what? No. You, you you get the point. The the pattern is unnecessary. So whoever is affected by this will see the way the three of us are talking. Like, oh, please, like you don't have any other thing to bother you, right? But no, That's why you choose to I'm bother. I'm not even only this. talking for this for this woman. I want the men who are doing this to understand that we see through your bull crap, and no, but you were yeah, the only people that you're going to get are the people that you were always able to get because they were never able to stand on their feet. And I want the, the, the young people who come across stuff like this to know, because I see them coming and crying, oh, my, my father is this, oh, my mother is this. When you have somebody who is supposed to be the one who is supposed to protect you, and they have openly shown that a part of their brain did not form properly, because that's what's happening here, it's not for you to be to be in anguish and be crying about it and be worrying about oh even for this to give me his blessing he's he's fighting me honestly but if if you're feeling like that it means that you you are not woken yet you haven't woken up and you're still in in that sleeping phase and that's okay whenever you wake up then you will know the power that you have but to not be giving power to these people these <laughs> sick people who actually need treatment and then you're giving over your mm. heart and you're feeling sad because yeah. everything you've done for them, because sometimes you've done everything for them and it's never yeah. enough. Yeah. They will always find fault. And yeah. then you keep on questioning yourself. Please, we don't have to do that. And that's don't what that's for the is. That's what that yeah. lounge is here for because all these mindsets that are created by the culture and the society and religion that keep us in shackles, you need to know that the people who are doing this are just, they are bullies. They are bullies and we shouldn't And narcissists. And narcissists. They're bullies and they're narcissists. Now, what is a yeah, narcissist? Mm. Yeah, a question, Let, let's get really practical. Mm -hmm. Because I have a friend who had that is late and that her father died really early um, in life, but none of her relations raised them. You know, the usual thing, the mother raises them. They are all fine. They are doing well now. Uh, and then she has this, um, her father's elder brother or something who is somewhat of a parasite, permit me to use this word, mm -hmm. but she tolerates him because she keeps saying, who would give me out? Like, mm -hmm. and she tolerates him, she tolerates his wife. So these two people call her at any time. She had to hide her, her WhatsApp status and Facebook status because the last time she traveled to, I think it was South Africa, you know, posted nice nice pictures on Facebook and then she was inundated with calls. Oh, I see you have money. Oh, there see, was, I think hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, so um, for a really practical thing, if, if someone is really worried, we're all Igbos, right? As okay. far, yeah, if someone is really worried, like I, I'm just tolerating this man because he will be the one to give me out. And I know another case, in this case, it was her elder brother. He was downright abusive. Downright, I, I think she was as old as 24 or 25 or so. And, and he still used to slap her around. I mean, like slap her around. And they were still tolerating him because who would give me out in marriage? So while we are kind of, is, is there any practical advice that we can give the people like this? Okay. What comes to my mind? Okay. Yeah, what? Um, what advice do I give to people like this? Uh, now, I, I don't mm -hmm. want anyone to look at me as, oh, she lives abroad. You don't know what the culture is. I've, mm -hmm. Whilst I may be living here, not maybe, okay, fine, agreed, I live here. But I also want everyone to know that my upbringing is far more Nigerian than most Nigerians. Yes, I was born here, but I did go back quite early. Do you know, before I was 10, and I was there to, I lived there for, how long, when did I relocate? Probably when I was there, 
32. So that's another 22 years after. Okay. So mm -hmm. whilst my, I, I felt that it was important I make this point because, you know, Nigerians always go, mm, that one is living abroad. What does she exactly. know? Exactly. For too long. Exactly. You know, yeah. I know more about our culture <laughs> than I actually know about the British culture. Let's just say because I have interest in it. I had interest and I still do because there were a lot of things as a child that I questioned. Mm. And it's the same thing here. I question a lot of things, racism, but, that, but that's um, a topic for another day. Now, in this case, what do you do? It, you know, if everyone could be like me, if they're abusing you, because it's a form of abuse mm -hmm. to you know, extort, um, guilt trip you, and you're thinking, uh, when I get married, what's going to happen? I have no option. Yeah. Mm. Good. If I want to be cunning about it, which is definitely not my style of doing things, I like being blunt, so you know where you stand. I would say what you can do is... Um, there's a saying, since men have learned how to shoot without missing, I've learned how to, how to, how to fly, fly without, without catching. catching. Yeah. Good. So the same yeah. sense they're applying, you apply the same sense. Good. She's blocked them from her status, from her Facebook or, you know, so that's another cunning way of doing it. One, mm -hmm. two. If they ask her for money 10 times, I mean, if this handing over thing means so much to her and I, I want to appreciate and acknowledge the, the gravity of it coming from that part of the world, mm -hmm. if they ask for money 10 times, oh, the same stories they tell her how they fell off from the ceiling and need the money to go to the hospital or bro broken bone stuff, she should find the same stories to say to them too. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I just and leave off the religious part of God for be If I say I was in the hospital, it means I'm going to really going to be unwell. You, you know tell, how you can't just tell them to leave it off now. This is what they believe. No, she should. They, they they're not the only ones that have the fancy stories. Also, I've done it. Do you know how many people? No, 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 That's why I said that. Yeah. She just apologize to the man and get what she needs and go on. Like you don't Good. have to. Yeah. Good. Do you know how many people have called me here? And do, do you know what? Sometimes I actually have fun doing it, but although that's not me, if you <laughs> especially if you go off with the lines of heart, ah, Nigeria, you see, ask me straight, Coco, can you give me something? Coco, Most likely I wouldn't. Don't, don't, don't leave the topic. So no, I'm not leaving the I'm not leaving. No, no, no. Hold on. I'm not leaving the topic. I'm connecting. Now, yeah. do you know how many people have asked me, um, Coco? Like if they send me something and say, Oh, the economy is hard. My ready response for you is, it's everywhere. Now, by the time I do that, I've thrown you off. You won't even know what to ask next. I've done it so many times. So for this, your friend, I'm, I'm giving her a, 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 um, mm -hmm. a, a two. If they come to her and definitely they're going to say, oh, we've not eaten things are hard. She will also say, uncle, hmm, where I'm staying, my landlord, eh? He almost threw me out. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, they're but presenting... what about the second one? The yeah, yeah, second what, one what is the second one that, that her brother like slaps around? Literally slaps around. Basically. And she's waiting because it's like, mm. who's gonna give me who's gonna give my hand in marriage? So okay, the brother physically abuses her. Yeah. Physically, no, verbally, to... yeah. No, no, no. That that is a red line. Say to her, it is a red line. No form of abuse is tolerated. And by the way, in every Igbo culture, I told you I'm very well grounded in our culture. If they and that's for the first scenario and second scenario, if they refuse to take the bride prize because they want to humiliate her and do all that, do you know that's Igbo custom that they can go? Not can she has the option of going to the traditional ruler. ruler. Okay. Yeah, the and, yeah. Oh, and yeah. he would accept the bride price on behalf of so the you family. Stay, you don't need to stay. Mm -hmm. So say to mm -hmm. her that no, it doesn't. That because you know, knowledge is power, information is mm -hmm. power. Maybe she didn't mm -hmm. know this. So for anyone Repeat that is listening, that, yeah, I don't know about the Yoruba culture, the Hausa culture, but I'm talking about the Igbo culture that I know back for. Mm -hmm. So she yeah. should not hold herself. I mean, I'll if, tell if they want to text me. I'll tell you one more thing about situations like this. Mm -hmm. The moment a person is able to bully you and make you get you to do things because you don't want to lose something that you're you are hoping to get from them, 
it means that your life is you are for, forever beholden to them because mm -hmm. you're waiting all this time you're thinking when it's time for me to get married he's not going to want to cooperate let me tell you what's going to happen because he knows that he's able to will this over you and you keep on appeasing and giving whatever he wants from you on the day of your marriage or whatever he will still hold whatever he wants to hold over exactly. you exactly so forever and ever exactly. they will smell you so the moment somebody mm -hmm. is bullying you and and you you feel like i have to give in to be able to do this just remember that you are you are completely giving yourself over because at any moment in time that thing that you're waiting for on that last day you still won't get it without them asking you to lick the shit off their ass Ooh. S H I T of the ass. So there's no point. Yeah, there's no point you. waiting. You, you might as well cut it today. Huh? You already said it. <laughs> yeah, just cut it today. There's no point. There's no need to wait. Um, and if you don't feel strong enough today, make sure you do it tomorrow and cut it off. Because it's never going to end. It's never mm. bullies will never True. end until you until you smear their own S H I T on their own faces, you know. But you don't have to fight. For me, I don't fight. I always say. There's no fight. It's just gently with a smile. I'm like, I know I'm not able to do it. Full stop. Because there's no need to fight. No, no. So there's no. no it, 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 it's not to my peace. Can't steal my. Also, it's not I'm able to do it. For example, you know the example that I gave to you. If they're saying things like school fees, blah blah blah, tell them about your house rent. Tell them about your bill. Tell them about how your car broke down. Now for them. They're looking at, oh, so she even has money to buy a car, which obviously they might have known, right? So use that car as an excuse because that is your standard, right? Just say to them, the car is in a mechanic. Uncle, do you know the mechanic? Do you know how much they even call in? In fact, I even had to abandon the car. But then <laughs> going to work has been so stressful. Mm -hmm. The transport, the way you know, that I have to say that easy. Give yourself peace. How can you allow another human being to steal your peace? It's not done. Not so as many it's stories true. as they have for her, from tell her, her to eh? have as they many stories for them. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, you say to her, for as many stories as they have for her, she should have that much or even double the stories for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm just pointing this out because so many people in Nigeria, so, so many end people end are under this it. um um bondage, bondage that is bondage. uncalled for it's not necessary uncalled yeah. for yeah so yeah okay so let's end this thank you for being with us take these things home don't look at us and feel that oh these people are talking because they don't know how you feel because my phone is full of it also i was so confused i didn't know what to do is like join us in the next episode Bye. thank you guys <laughs>